Hi everyone, it's Seven here from Helix VR with my yearly rundown of top seven games for 2021. Well, what a year it's been. We've still got the dreaded COVID. The world is still full of snowflakes and council culture, but on the plus side, the virtual world has exploded. We gained a new meaning for an old word, so meta no longer means seeing things from a higher perspective. It now means our controlling overlords have given us a catchy new name for the sheeple to follow. Yay, fantastic. Okay, and well, VR has exploded, as I say, guys, and we have the, uh, the, the good thing about it is the naysayers have stopped saying that VR is just a fad. And I have already been testing some of the games for 2022 release, and I can tell you they look great. So stay tuned to the end of this video for a sneak peek of what's to come this year. So let's start with my number 7 game, Iron Quest, which was released in September for PC VR and the MQVR, that's MetaQuest VR for those not in the know. This quirky tower defence game had me coming back time and time again. The story was well done, the gameplay was easy to understand and the levels progressed in a nice fluid motion. You place your turrets down, you upgrade them, and you use your drone to destroy waves of rebellious robots. Now it sounds simple, well it is, until about the second level, and then you'll be running around multitasking like a madman. Let's check out some of the gameplay. Okay, number six. I'm going to give this to After the Fall, our number six slot. Um, it's available on the PC VR, the MQ VR, and the PS VR. And it's a fun game with lots of potential. But it's currently just a great shooter with a grind to collect skins and gun upgrades. I can see it getting very boring and repetitive after a few weeks. But we are promised more maps coming up. And... Uh, I can tell you I've never ever hold my breath with the Vertigo devs because they take forever to do anything. But this is one of those games that we will play, we will give it a break, we will come back in a month or two, play it again and hope something new is added. As I say, it's not a bad game, it's a real fun game, but it will just get very boring quickly. Anyway, let's have a look at the gameplay. Okay, number five, Sweet Surrender. It's available on the PC VR and the MQVR. It's a roguelike shooter with some very cool cartoon style graphics. Think Borderlands and you've hit the nail on the head. The levels are procedurally generated, so they change every time you start the game, making it that it does not become repetitive like some games. You pick up upgrades, you unlock new weapons as you fight your way through these levels. The game gives you just about everything to keep you engaged and immersed. Wait until you try the zip lines and the grappling hooks and you will be hooked and you will understand why this made it into our top 7. Now let's check out the gameplay. Okay, number four, Cards and Tankards. It's for the PC VR and the MQ VR on SideQuest. 
And let me mention this game is free. That's right, guys. You did not mishear me. It is a free game. So there is no excuse not to get it and give it a try. If you like playing trading card games like Magic the Gathering or any of those other ones, then you are going to love this game, Cards and Tankards. For me, I've never played this type of game, but I found it very easy to pick up and understand. And why? Because the tutorials are great. The devs are fantastic and are constantly working on new cards and making the player experience magical exactly like a game should be. I also got to mention the community is one of the nicest bunch of nerds I have ever had the pleasure of playing with. And you will always find someone to play with. And if there isn't, there is always Mulligan the AI dummy to have a few rounds with. And by the way, I named him. But that's for another story. So if you are in Cards and Tankards, go and check out Mulligan. Great guy. Have a drink with him and, and have a few games or find someone else to play with that's human. Okay, we are now into our top three. These are the three best games of the year as voted for by myself, the face of VR. And hey, well, I am the face of VR, so what I say is true. Anyway, number three is a beautiful anime bullet hell game called Yuki. And wow, what a game. Amazing graphics, addicting gameplay, and a mind-blowing soundtrack. It's available on the PC VR and the MQ VR. You play holding an action figure, Yuki, and you manoeuvre him around, avoiding objects and, of course, all the bullets. You collect power-ups, which will help you along the way. And I can't stress how addicting this game is. It's the one more go game, where you go, just one more go, just one more go. It is that game. Um, I can't turn around and tell you how much fun I had playing this. So... Give it a try, check it out, and if you've never played a bullet hell game, you'll understand why it's called a bullet hell game after you've tried it. Let's have a look at the gameplay. Okay, our number two, which is runner-up, guys, for Game of the Year, is Demio. Um, it came out on the PC VR and the MQ VR, and it will be coming out in Pancake Mode in April of this year, and it covers every base. It was an instant hit for us, but it left us wanting more and more, and we finally got our new levels in the summer and the last level just last month. The devs have a great roadmap planned out for 2022 and I will be exciting to see how it develops. If you ever wanted to play a role playing game dungeon crawler with D&D type aspects on it then Demio will scratch that itch. You get to pick from five different characters in the game with their own abilities and skills. Me, I personally like the assassin because it lets me go stealth and walk around the map without anyone seeing me. But obviously, I always carry my team to victory, whatever character that I play. Let's check out the gameplay and congratulations to Demio.
Okay, guys, now for our number one game of the year. This year's winner for Game of the Year was an easy choice. It came out on PC VR in 2021, but it had already been released on MQVR in 2020, so it's totally crossplay. It's one of those games that just has the smile factor to it. Congratulations, Walkabout Mini Golf. I have not had so much fun in a non-shooter VR game as I have had with this game. As a community, we like to play it together. We rush home from work. We eat our meals quick just so that we can jump in for a few games um, of crazy golf. It is an amazing, amazing fun game. There is always people in the lobbies that you can jump in and play with. They're really friendly. Um, and the game just doesn't get boring. This year, we've already seen two new levels added and two DLCs as well added to the game with the promise of more courses in 2022. And I think the devs have promised us a new course every month. So, I mean, we'll see how that goes. This game just keeps getting better and better. So for your value for money, it's brilliant because they're always adding to it. And if anyone does get this game and they want to give me a shout, join our Discord or drop us a message on our Twitch stream or something, and I will always jump in and play a few holes of golf with you because it is that much fun. So if you go out and get it because I say go and get it, then listen, you're guaranteed to have a few games of golf with me. That's how it is. Anyway, let's check out the gameplay from the, the video and uh, we'll be right back. Now, before we go, first off, if you like this video, please drop us a subscription over there, guys, um, for more content. Also, don't forget to check out our Twitch channel. It's twitch.tv slash HelixVR. And come and join me. I'm streaming near enough every day. That's me, Seven, the face of VR. And you will get to see me play loads and loads of games pretty badly. But it's all for fun. And you get to come in and jump in and play the games with me. And if you hang out on our Friday streams, that tends to be when we play all the new games or the up and coming. So you get to see sneak peeks of some of the games that are coming out, beta tests of games or whatever the devs are releasing in the last few weeks. So check us out over on Twitch. Now, as promised, if any of you had been paying attention at the beginning of the video, I said I would let you have a look at some of the future games for 2022 to get excited about. And here they are.
Okay, guys, that's all for this year. Let us know your top seven games and especially what games you're currently playing. And do you think that Walkabout is the best game of the year or do you have an opinion on another one? I'm open to ears and always willing to listen to what you guys have got to say. Anyway, have a good one. We will see you out there in the VR world somewhere and stay safe.